Man, it has been a long time since I reacted to one of these guys. My, I'm pretty sure, bro, when was my last video? Um, a uh, Life of Luxury video. Hold on, let me check this real quick. Bro, these guys have posted a lot. I had to react to at least freaking one more of their damn videos. Uh, ten months ago. Ten months ago. Was my last Life of Luxury reaction. These guys have been posting like psychos. Last time I checked, it was the uh, freaking Luxury Dark Parasite video. It was the last thing I re reacted to. So now I'm going to react to... She thought her little b little brother was dead. Yeah, this is going to be a bunch of BS, isn't it? A girl named Millie, whose little brother recently passed away. Ever since her little brother's death, Millie has noticed strange changes in her father's behavior and appearance. She thinks that her dad has not been able to accept her little brother's death, and the things that Nobody he's really been doing can. are sick and go beyond grieving. She sent us this video for proof. Oh no, what the hell am I about to watch? What the hell is that? Is that a damn puppet? Damn right. It would be worse if it was the damn Annabelle doll. I'm just joking. Now Millie wants us to come make sure that her dad's okay. So tonight we're going to drive to her house and see what's going on. Let's go. I mean, you they know what's going on. Okay, so we're on the road right now, heading to Millie's house. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Before they went, they said, so we know what's going on. Number one, you don't need to, they don't need to know what's going on. It's a freaking family issue. It, it's a grieving issue. There's something called therapy. And number two, they know what's going on. We already know what's going on. So do they. Like, what do you mean to find out what's going on? You just told us what's going on. Her little brother died. Uh, the dad is into some weird grieving things. And he's being weird. Period. Alright, boom, video's ended. But, like, go. That's what's going on. You just said what's going on. And here so they go again, telling us what's going on. We have plenty of other they already heroes. know everything. Bro, you gotta stop viewing things so negatively. Just try to be excited that we're going here. From our text, she seems like a really nice girl. <laughs> what? Why do you sound like you just want to meet her? Seriously? Stop. I actually care about if these people are alright. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, what the hell? They were just now in a city and now they're in a damn forest. With no street lights. Okay, good, good, good. Good to know they were just now in a forest and no street lights, and you look behind them and you see street lights and houses. What is that? Looks like an abandoned house, dude. What the hell? Well, before this video continues, I'm not hating on them, I'm just being hella sarcastic. So, go and subscribe to freaking Luxury Dark. I'm just gonna do that right freaking now. I, I'm in Life of Luxury. Oh my god, they have so many channels. I know they have Luxury Pranks, uh, light, Luxury Light, Luxury Dark, and Life of Luxury. And they most likely have more. Bro, that's a... Okay. That's a different house. I don't know if you knew that, but like, bro. You can see that there's an upstairs. And that, I don't think that show is on that porch. But I, I'm gonna enjoy the damn video of how it is. Not, I'm not gonna try to fucking expose it today. I've already exposed many of their videos. Just look in people's comment sections of reactions. You'll, you'll uh, probably I, see I, one of my comments. But what the hell is that? Yeah. Uh, you emailed us about your dad. Okay. Dude, what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does every person? This is how every video goes. They, somebody emails them for help. They end up coming to the house, and the the guy, the person that asks them for help, act, is acting like they're freaking possessed by like the devil or something. And then, and then, and then, 
they have some weird interaction with uh, whoever is being weird in the house. They go to sleep, set up cameras, find some weird out shit in the house. Then something bad happens at the end, uh, and then they run out of the goddamn house. Period. Uh, That's what's gonna happen. I bet. Are you forcing your way into a house? Wait, what? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wouldn't that be breaking and entering? <laughs> you didn't even say, can we come in? Like, you said you care if these people are alright, and yet you just forced your way and put them in danger. By breaking into their house without their consent. Like, I don't care. You guys are gonna say to me. Hey, hey, they got an email uh, saying that they are allowed to come. Yeah, but you still got to ask for permission to come in. Like, be at least a little bit polite, for God's sake. Don't, like, I, I, when I go to, like, some kind of convenience store, I don't kick down the door. I freaking politely walk in and politely buy crap. Oh, why is that person acting weird, though? See, look, I'm upstairs. There it is. Well, clearly before there was... Thank you for letting us sit down with you. 928? Hold on, what was the last time zone? When did they get to this damn house? It, you're telling me it took you a goddamn hour's fucking drive down the street from a house to fucking pull up to a house. It took you 30 minutes to pull up to a house and <laughs> knock on the door. Okay. That okay, takes me so like 10 seconds. And if you guys are, um, if you guys are, um, you, you guys are probably hearing me drinking something in the background. Yeah. It's a cappuccino. By the way. Yeah, yeah, sad. I've been hearing some really awful noises coming from his workshop. What are the awful noises? Oh, it's good that you're worried about your dad. He shows you an empathetic person. Thank you. My dad just needs to accept that Timmy is dead. The hell? What is that? Oh. Okay. How the hell did he make that? Hold on, if the dad sounds like that, how in the actual hell? How does the doll have that high-pitched voice when the dad's voice is, like, deep? Like, he's, like, freaking groaning or some shit. Like, every fucking episode, that's what the dad sounds like. And, and I know these I know these videos are fake, but they're entertaining. They're, they're completely they're freaking entertaining. That's why I watch them. And they're just gonna look around. Bro, what the hell? What? Exactly. A puppet? That's a fucking dummy or some shit. I don't know what the hell that was. They just. I, I love the fact they just ignored everything that was just unusual. What the hell just happened to them? They ignored it all. They just ignored it, and they're just moving on from what and they what they just saw. If I saw something like that, dude, I would be hella confused. I would fucking backflip and kick the damn table at the damn dad or some shit, and fucking jump out the window. If, if that fucking doll was holding a knife, at least I don't give a shit about a damn dummy. Yeah, um, it's in the garage. You really they have a garage where. Hold on, what what's the time zone? Alright, it's 525. 525 uh, in the video. Go back. Go back. What the hell? Shit, 
Oh. Alright. Look at the house. Where the hell is the second floor? Where the hell is the garage? And why the hell is there a horse outside the house right here? Why is it in the middle of a fucking forest? This is, there's no garage, I don't think. What did I say? 520 something? I don't care. I'll start this at 527. 526. Just broke the first thing here. We're gonna be respectful. Yeah, you just forced entry into some random person's house. You, um, forced, you basically interrogated them about what the hell their family issues are. And now you're basically gonna harass the fucking father of the damn family over depression. I don't think that's respectful. I think that's just terrible. It's just bad though. Imagine if something like this happened in real life. I wasted an hour exposing these guys already. Probably after that, instead of facing the issues at the damn table. He just stopped freaking out, man. Look at his damn eyes. This guy hasn't slept in like a fucking week. I wonder why he's freaking out. He's basically a goddamn vampire. Let's just go see what her dad's been doing in his workshop. Come on. Fine. Now they're breaking into a dad's workshop to find them answers. Okay. Bro. Was the house this big? I'm just gonna ignore the time zones. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, about that, um, how do you, bro? What? There's some drawings here. Chester, don't touch your stuff. Why did they, bro? Okay, hold on real quick. <laughs> how did they get doctor supplies like that? Like the red fucking boxes and shit. Can you even get those? I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just a dumbass or something, I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't care. But the thing is, there's no way this is this kind of shit happens on a daily basis for these guys. No way this happens, uh, even, if this channel even exists, and if it was real, they would probably be in prison by now. Uh, for a load of reasons. But, if something like this did happen... Why are they so calm about it? Why, why is any of them calm? That's my question. Yes, sir. Okay. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. Dude, why does this... It reminds me of Five Nights at Damn Freddy's for uh, a little bit. For this, this one shot just reminds me so much of Five Nights at Freddy's. For an example, little kids got stuffed into an animatronic suit, like, uh, maybe the remains of the dead son, he put the, it into a dummy and it came alive, because the souls just possessed it, I guess, I don't know, but yeah, that just reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's right there, and if anybody's an OG to my channel, you guys would know that I know exactly what Five Nights at Freddy's is, I've played it on the channel, I completely quit the, uh, the series. I, I can play it anytime soon. I got a new freaking phone, so it's not lagging anymore. And I still have them all. Hey, what are you doing? I've beaten the Stop game on part two off camera, Bro, so. These drawings he has here are weird. What the hell is this? Listen, I don't know what that is, but we gotta go talk to Millie. Let's go. Honestly, I think it's amazing that they actually have their own style of content and their own ideas. So, right here, right now, they're already better than uh, some of the other creepy. Uh, spooky channels that are on YouTube. They're they're better than them because they have their own original ideas. It's not like the whole f uh, freaking J Station situation that used to be on YouTube, or that still is. I don't know if it's still around anymore. I just I'm just gonna say it's not because I think he's gotten banned from YouTube. Thank God, good riddance. 
I just love how they come up with their own content, their own like sets, and their own characters like this. I've watched a few of Laura, uh, Life of Luxury's videos before. I swear to God, isn't that the same guy as what, um, I forgot who it was. Josh? No, Jimmy? Or Johnny? It was something with a J. No, Tommy. It's Tommy. Not... Oh. Okay, that's disgusting. That's disturbing. Why is his arm so long? Whatever. She yeah, it's Tommy. What? It looks like Tommy. I mean, it's normal not to have a hand. You don't gotta be terrified of someone who just doesn't have a hand. I mean, come on. It's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Bro, what the hell are the curtains? Can I just strictly point out the fact that everything in this set right here looks like it's from like the 1990s, like 1998 to 1997, like the 80s or some crap? So we just checked out your like, dad's job. Like, look at the curtain, man. And we're gonna record your dad tonight. So we're gonna. <laughs> Why do you keep assaulting this person? Yeah, I wonder what crime it's gonna be to read someone's text messages. Bro, what is wrong with Park? What is it, Parker? I think Chester... Parker is the guy with glasses, I think. And Chester is the other guy. I, no, or is it the other way around? Who is Chester and... Why are you being so quiet? No, no, no. This is Parker. That's Chester. Yeah. What's wrong with damn Parker? <laughs> There's something called losing a leg or losing a hand or an arm. Um, it happens to people. It's it's normal. Sometimes. I don't know. People get into car crashes and stuff. They lose like limbs, like freaking uh, hands, arms, freaking legs. And sometimes they get replaced by like metal legs or some crap, or they just don't even have a hand. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't, I don't know how that works. So I'm not even going to spend too much time on the uh, topic of how people lose their hands and stuff. I don't know. I just know that it exists and that people do lose hands sometimes. Something messed up is going on here. We should get out of here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should. What? Well, like you said earlier... <laughs> he disagreed with you. What do you mean? Is that a fireplace? <laughs> this... No. 
Why is there a fireplace in a bedroom, like, right next to the beds? Bro, that could catch fire. Look at the mad bugs all over the place. What are they doing? Are they what? Like, in an abandoned place or something? I don't know where they are, but there's, like, mad bugs. It's how you know that there's something incredibly wrong in this guy needs to be in, like, a freaking penitentiary or something. Is when you're talking to yourself. That's so f okay. <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. I keep mixing up their names. Parker. No. Chester. Yeah, Chester. Why would you move a bed over there when you're just gonna be sleeping in the same bed as freaking uh, Parker is? What's the point of moving a bed over there if you're just not even gonna sleep in it? Why is there two beds in a room with a freaking fireplace? I have so many questions. Bro, where is this? I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but I, uh, in the freaking, uh, room, with what is her name, Millie, uh, there's different stuff, oh, never mind, I see it, it's, it's the workshop. Oh, did the doll just move? Yeah, look, 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 look. This chair was not here, I don't think. I did not see this chair. I just did not see it. And not only that, but I don't think this lamp was on the table. I don't think the mirror was there either. I'm always the one to point out details. Bro, is that another fireplace? The... Okay, it, there's another fireplace you can see in the corner right here. Alright, let me look for fireplaces in the dad's uh, room. Uh, no, okay, oh. Bro, the doll is moving, and number two, what is the dad doing? Bro, that looks like an empty paint can to me, like, it's just swinging. How do you fall like that? Get hit in the head with a freaking pin can, you should probably, like, it probably would hit your head, like, on the desk, and your head would be, like, on a desk next to a pin can or something. But that doesn't make any sense unless so if unless somebody was on the other side, like, and hit you in the side of the head off the chair, would you ever dare to fall like that? How is the chair like that? Can we just say the freaking fact of how as soon as I literally just saw that doll, my lights flickered twice in my room? No, I'm not even playing around. That's actually, it, my lights flickered twice. It just adds to the aesthetic of the video. Is that a doll hand? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Bro, this is one of the hardest videos they have to make. This has to be a very difficult video to make. Um, it just has to be. Moving around a doll is gonna take so long. Why does Parker wear glasses all the time? Like, we see your face, we can just tell of what your face could look like. So why do you have to wear the glasses all the time? I actually just thought someone started calling my phone because my keyboard's glowing. But what is that? It's like, alright, I know what it is, it's the doll laughing, but it's like echoing. Why is the camera shaking like that? What? He just flew towards the Jester. doll. The if you look incredibly closely, doesn't that look like the he he actually like put the camera like and just moved it really close to the doll to make it look like the doll was coming towards him? 
See? 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 Bro, what an amazing little stunt. It's still not going past my head, though. So I don't care. I'm only going to include this in one of the things that they've attempted to do. The hell? Okay. Uh, it's the new damn uh, Fantastic Four. I forgot his name. The guy that fucking stretches his damn arms and crap. It's a new fucking version of him. It's a fucking doll. Why would this look like something that would be in like a haunted house attraction of like dolls or something? And this is what you would see? Is that dummy or like some kind of doll holding up a doll and pinning him against the wall by choking him? And also, how in the world is he kicking up like that? He's taller than a doll. Just put your legs on the ground, grab the doll's hand, like, uh, yank his hand towards you and kick off his head, dude. It's not that freaking, it's not that hard to get out of that situation. Grab the doll's hand, kick the doll to the ground, grab the lamp, and just beat the living shit out of him. Boom. Done. I win. What was that? Oh, I thought those were the dousing rods. You know, like the spiritual uh, ghosts rods. I thought those were dousing rods. But they're not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Where did it go? You were filming. But what the hell? Something bad happens and they're going to run out of the house, like I said. I already know the screaming is the sound effect. The screaming is a sound effect. I literally, I swear to God, I hear it looping. It just sounds like a sound effect, dude. We have not heard from Millie or her father since. Good! Thank you guys for watching this episode. Let's try to smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to oh, be released. Wait. Yeah, where's the next episode, huh? Where, where is it? Where is it? Where's the next episode? Come on, where? Wait, no, scroll down. Where is it? Where's the next episode? Come on, 257,000 likes. You better get it. Release the next episode. Come on, we're all waiting. Where? Where's the next episode? Come on, give me the next episode. Don't ask me why half of the entire thing is just not even showing. It's because I only, I wasn't even zoomed into the video. I was uh, I strictly put the screen recorder on a certain part of the video. So yeah, subs all this uh, the video's credit, ma'am. Life of luxury. I keep saying luxury doors. Subscribe to Life of Freaking Luxury. It. I swear to God, the amount of work that they had to put into that video and just to move the doll around, to add the effects of the video, to uh, freaking edit all of that crap together. It's going to take uh, days. It's going to take days to do that. So you guys need to go over to Life of Luxury. Subscribe to their channel. Because these guys, man, you, you're not going to see content like the the crap that these guys post. You're not seeing that crap anywhere. At least from not, not what I've known. It's not going to be as entertaining as what, they've doing, what they're doing over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, first time I've actually fully reacted to a Life of Luxury video. You guys also might be uh, wondering, where is the second part to the other reaction? There are, uh, there's so many problems with that video, to the point where I can't even release the second part. So, yeah, I'm just gonna react to the actual Life of Luxury channel instead of Luxury Dark. Whatever, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, uh... Go over, watch the original video if you want to freaking watch any other video. They've released so much of it. Go to their other channels like freaking Luxury Dark, Luxury Light, uh, freaking uh, Luxury Pranks, dude. Subscribe to every one of them. Because, man, these guys, bro, they're insane, dude. I swear to God. Like, you guys gotta come and check them out. These guys are literal psychopaths. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.